just met you then, now you were nothing You were just sitting on the couch with that red jacket morning guys so we arrived in italy yesterday and we've been here for like some hours yesterday we were really tired so we just slept because guys we haven't been sleeping okay in netherlands we were like <laughs> city to city sleeping two hours at most so here i actually slept really well yesterday i slept for like seven hours and i feel good i feel energized i just had breakfast as you guys saw so yeah we're here in rome and today we want to explore um, I can show you guys that the view here is so great. There's a balcony in this room. But yeah, I'm very excited to explore today. I'm carrying two changes of outfits for outfit opportunities. I don't know where we're going to go yet, but we either want to do the double decker bus that explores the city, or we could just. I don't know. We have a few places we want to visit, like the Trevi Fountain, the Spanish Steps, um, the Colosseum. And a few other places so we'll see um yeah so come along with me guys it's gonna be another fun one i'm very i'm very i'm so excited yeah i'm i'm excited the food here is different i'll tell you that for free even in the netherlands the food was very different african food kenyan food definitely has more flavor than the food here even the juice everything we have more flavor but yeah um other than that like today's breakfast croissant slapped it's slapped it's so good it has some orange flavor i don't know i liked it um yeah so yesterday we had dinner at some place called ristorante something i'm sure i'll put in the clips and they um people didn't like the food but i liked the food <laughs> some of it not the main course so yeah i'll see you guys in a few the weather here is it's like it's sunny but then it's also cold there's a breeze but yesterday it rained so yeah i'll see you guys through the day So this is a tobacco shop and the funny thing about Italy is this is where everyone goes to buy their metro tickets. So we decided to get a day pass so we could be able to explore all day. A day pass was 7 euros as you guys can see. And this is really good because we were able to explore the whole day, no limitations. And this is like the place you pick up the bus. We were looking for bus 916 to head into town and start our exploration which took a while. But yeah, we got lost. But then we were redirected and we were able to start exploring. Hi guys, we are at, actually let me tell you, we don't know where we are at, we just entered here, but it's so pretty, it's great, good times, great
we're about to see Rome from the sky. We bought three tickets for 12 euros each, but 10 for European Union citizens. And yeah, 12. It's two. It's two, yeah. It's two euros for European Union citizens. She wanted to pretend to be one. <laughs> but, but it didn't work. So yeah. <laughs> We are here. It's so pretty guys, wait. I've been forgotten I'm scared of heights. Let me let me show you guys around. Yeah, then you sit here, you probably sit here, and then you all just look over the city for real. so fun because we went to this place called Milite which was like a memorial for like war soldiers and that was so cool every corner was so great there was art there was sculptures there was everything it was fun I had a great time because I love seeing like old architecture because I can't even believe they built that BC before Christ mad and then we went um where did we go to the Colosseum but we only went outside and we wanted to go back today but now highlight is we had pizza which was really good and affordable for like a huge pizza like eight euros for like a huge thing it can be lunch and dinner and then after that we found an african club which was playing like afrobeat kenyan music it was great had a great time um yeah it's called what was it called a fish it was called a fish so here in italy you have to try a fish it's fun it's a great time 
it's just great because they're actually playing Kenyan music. They were taking our requests, so we're listening to Salty Soul and everything. It was great. I had a good time. And then we Ubered back home. Uber's here, kind of affordable. It was like 30 euros for Uber Black. And then for Uber Van, which takes like seven, it's like six or seven, it's like 60 euros. So yeah, today we're now going to shop. I want to shop. I haven't shopped, guys. So I want to shop. I want to eat my croissant, the little breakfast box thing. And then we want to leave for the mall. We need to go get our day pass like yesterday. And then leave. Yeah. yeah the weather is nice today, though. Can you guys hear the birds chirping? It's peaceful out here. I'm looking cute. Uh, I'll show you guys my outfit during the day. But yeah, I want to leave now. So I'll check in with you guys during the day. Bye. So today has been such a long day we didn't even do any like tourist activities or anything it was a shopping day because believe it or not i've not done much shopping since i came because i was pr prioritizing like exploring and touring instead of actually shopping both even in netherlands i didn't shop much did i even shop i think i bought like three things honestly i bought like perfume a bit of skincare and like a top but today we went to shop in Italy because it's also a really big shopping hub. Like there's so many clothes. As you guys saw, there's like Prada, it's like Gucci, there's everything. And I had several epiphanies today, which I'll tell you about. But first, let me give you guys a little haul of the things that I bought. Um, I haven't finished shopping. I want to continue. I want to continue shopping in Dubai. The thing is, we went to Zara today, and I wanted to finish shopping there. But you guys, there were there was such a long line. The line was going to and I wanted to buy one item from there. So I was like, it's not it's not worth it. So let me give you guys a little like haul. These things are not even for me most of them because I've been shopping for other people. Yeah. So first of all, I got a hat written in Roma for my grandfather. And then as a tote bag nigger, I take my tote bagging very seriously. So I got two tote bags. Okay. One says Roma, yo. One says Roma, and the other says Ciao Bella. <laughs> so cute. And then I got my grandmother like a scarf, and I remember I need to buy my other grandmother a scarf, so I'm going to go to the souvenir shop tomorrow before we leave. And then I got my sister. Well, let me finish the souvenirs. There's so many though. I got my sister this cute. Snake skin skirt from H and M. I got I got Mola Lisa dabbing, guys. It's so funny. <laughs> um, that was from a souvenir shop, and then I got this graphic tee. You guys, I love graphic tees, and I don't have many graphic tees, and it always annoys me when I go to my closet and I check and I have nothing, like no cool graphic tees. Makes no sense to me. So I got one. Very cute. I love it. And then I got this lilac dress. Of course, guys. Lilac's my favorite color. By now, you should know. I got this lilac dress. 
I hope you guys can see. And then I got this like green like sweater vest. I'm also a sweater vest girl. You guys should know again by now. And then I got so many souvenirs. Like I got this cute little balcony written Roma. Gosh, you guys, there's so many souvenirs. I can't even finish. I got like I finished at the souvenir shop and my bill like when she calculated for me the total I was shocked my mind was blown it was like a hundred euros I bought like a bell I bought little figurines I bought a fan I bought a t-shirt I bought two snow globes I bought uh, I bought so many things I was so shocked by the price I also got a tiny suitcase because uh, my suitcase is 21 kgs and and we allowed two suitcases of 23 kgs back to Dubai and then Nairobi so yeah um, I didn't want to exceed the price because you usually have to pay like a lot of money when you exceed the luggage weight. So yeah guys, the epiphanies I had today. So first of all, when we're walking down the streets, I was like, I need to stop buying fast fashion. Like I've noticed I buy a lot of fast fashion then I end up decluttering my closet, giving them out, replaced with more fast fashion and I kind of want to be the cool aunt slash mom or grandma. Who has really cool clothes? My grandma has such cool clothes. Whenever she tells us to come to her closet, we are blown away because her pieces are timeless. They're really, they're, it's not fast fashion because my grandma always tells us to go like to her room and pick out clothes sometimes. And her pieces are classic. Whenever I wear those pieces she gives us, I'm always asked like, where'd you get this? So I want to start investing in like amazing pieces month by month other than fast fashion and that's the realization I had when I was shopping today um yeah second thing when I was passing this designer stores I really wanted to buy something designer but then I started feeling bad because I, I was like I can't afford a lot but then I was like you'll afford one day okay you don't have to feel bad because you can't afford something luxury right now because you'll be able to afford it one day yeah it was a great day though